It was all over every report we read about Macworld, one of the most talked about products. It's called GarageBand, and it's Apple's new music creation program. Here to take us a little deeper in depth is that Mac maniac we love to bring on the show, Chris Breen. Welcome back to Call for Help. Thank you very much. How are you doing, man? I'm doing really well. You? Very cool. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah? This is kind of out of control. It, it's very cool. It's very nice. So GarageBand, basically, music creation software. It's kind of like iMovie for... Kind of like iMovie, recordings. yeah, and it's and like iMovie, it's incredibly easy to use. We like that. We do like that, and it's got a lot of things that other uh, music creation tools don't have. Mm -hmm. For example, it's got loop-based sequencing, so if you're a PC user, it's like acid. I was going to say, it looks a lot like acid. It looks a lot like acid, and it's the same idea that you've got this timeline mm -hmm. kind of recording here, and it's simple enough to create a track if you're doing a loop. You just go down here and say, okay, look, I want a drum track, and it comes up with drum tracks, and I want something sort of clean, all right, let's try this one, and if you're previewing this thing, if you click on it, you would hear it through your speakers. I don't know that we can hear it because it may not be, but the audio is working. We wonder if we can. Can we get a microphone we can run up here and we can hold it up by the notebook? We could, and then you the, get just uh, quality sound. It would be something. It would be yeah. some sound. So can I, can I record my own loops on this, or do, can I only use Apple's pre-recorded loops? Well, you can only use Apple's pre-recorded loops at, at this time, but mm -hmm. the thing is that... So it really is acid for the... Mac. Yeah, but there's more. <laughs> okay. There's more. Oh, the next thing you can do is you can record MIDI into this thing. Okay. So you set up a new track and you just go into tracks mm -hmm. and you create a new track and um, it has built-in software synthesizer. So you can select any class of, of um, instrument you like. So you can, I like that. You can do horns. You can uh, select a horn thing here. You can select organ. You can do a cathedral organ and then you play the thing. It's sort of down. I mean, it's a little yeah. bit, mm, but. Well, you go for like a, you know, a, a Hammond organ or something right. like that, bring it up a little bit. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix is in the house. Yeah, obviously you've also been playing piano for a while. Yeah, I started when I was four. So I've been doing it a long, long time. So, um, but beyond this, so, so it's got built-in software mm -hmm. synthesis. It's got loop-based recording. Plus you can record real instruments. So if you right. actually can play something, you can plug your guitar into your Mac, and you say, okay, fine, I'm going to be recording a guitar, and it has amp simulation. So if you want to sound like you've got that surf guitar, you can pick a tremolo guitar. Can I actually, do I have to use an equalizer or a preamp, or can I just plug my, my guitar well, straight in? Well, you're going to get the best sound if you go through a preamp. Okay. So you have some kind of sound card you can go in through. But if you can do it, it's line level input, goes in, okay. does amp modeling. So if you want that Marshall sound, mm -hmm. you would select something like British Invasion. And if you want to record vocals as well, it doesn't just do guitar amp modeling, but it also does vocals, and it does all the stuff set up for you. So that's if I cool. do a male basic vocal, um, I would record that, say, okay, that's the track I want. Once I do that, then you can get um, settings within there that already have reverb applied. Oh, wow. So it's like you don't have to so apply It does all the digital there. signal processing. It does it in software, and it does it without having to play around with, with 42 around anything. You just sing into the thing. It sounds good. You plug your guitar in. It sounds good. And then once you're finished with this thing, you export it, and it all goes out as an AIFF file into iTunes, mm -hmm. where you can then put it into your iMovie. So this is one way to create royalty-free music Nice for background. We like that stuff. We like that a lot. How much is this going to cost? This costs 49 bucks. It's part of the iLife suite. Mm -hmm. So you not only get GarageBand, but you also get iMovie, you get iPhoto, you get iTunes, you get iDVD. 49 bucks. That's a pretty good This is an incredible deal. So you're pretty enthusiastic about this. Yeah, I mean, as a professional musician, it's a great sketch pad for me. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of things that it won't do, um, but for just somebody who wants to dink around and sketch out a song, or mm -hmm. somebody who has no talent whatsoever... And just wants to have like something in the background of a movie. Yeah, you just drag loops in, and you create music that way. It's Very really, cool. really easy. Is there going to be a plug-in? Is there going to be think any third parties going to write software well, for Well, currently, Apple is going to be offering something for $99. Mm -hmm. They're going to offer another 2,000 loops, some more instrument sounds, some different guitar kind of sounds. So they're already working on people expanding. And, and the, it's only been out about three days now, and people are already thrilled about so this. It, it just shipped on more? like Friday or Saturday. Yeah. Very cool. You're excited. I am excited. This, I, is, I, this is just an incredibly cool thing. $49, tons of good stuff. If you want to learn more about GarageBand, check out our website, techtv.com slash call for help. Thank you, Chris. You bet. Good.